So in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at collision noise. So I'm just going to create a cloner and add some spheres to the cloner. I'm going to put it into grid array. And I'm just going to reduce the size of the sphere. I'm going to raise it up. I'm going to create a floor. And I'm going to add a rigid body tag to both these objects. Tags, simulation tags, rigid body. And on the cloner, I need to set it to inherit tag, apply tag to children, individual elements, all. Play it back, and we get a bounce. So I'm just going to increase the bounce of these spheres to something a bit higher, like 90. And you'll notice that each uh, individual sphere bounces slightly differently, as if the surface is uneven. So this one maybe moves slightly in this direction, and then this one moves in this direction. So there's an element of randomness. And that is due to collision noise. So if I set collision noise to zero, played it back, you can see that everything bounces identically. So if I just go to the side panel, it should be a bit more obvious. As you can see, the spheres, until they hit the ground, uh, they perfectly overlap until they start moving on the ground. So that just adds like that bit of kind of randomness as if the surface is slightly uneven. And if we go to the extreme end of the scale, like 100%, 90%, uh, basically we get a very chaotic kind of result. I'll try 30%, see what that does. Uh, you can also use collision noise to kind of control erratic simulations. So if in your simulation there's a lot of kind of uh, jittering, once the object's um, kind of made contact with the ground, but it kind of keeps on kind of moving, uh, reducing the collision noise can help sometimes as well. So that's just a quick explanation of what Collision Noise does. Hope you found this tutorial useful. Uh, please share it and thanks for watching.